Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Kash, and we're gonna do another case study today. Well, not another case study, but another uh, topic study, I guess. Uh, today we'll discuss acute bronchitis. Uh, and the reason I'm doing it is because, you know, just like we did influenza last week, it's a very prevalent condition at this time of the year. Uh, this is something seasonal. So, uh, you know, we see a lot of patients uh, with acute bronchitis these days. So I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about this. So let's get started. Um, you know, the etiology for acute bronchitis, like you guys already know, is viral, right? So this is going to be a cough due to inflammation of the bronchi itself. So bronchitis in itself, inflammation of the bronchi. And typically this starts in a, as an upper respiratory infection and moves down into your bronchi, uh, causing inflammation there and thus the cough. So the technical definition here would be the inflammation of the trachea and large airways without evidence of pneumonia. The etiology, like I said, is going to be viral. So the most common organisms will be influenza A, influenza B, coronavirus, rhinovirus, and terovirus. Some of the atypical uh, organisms here can be mycoplasma pneumoniae, bordetella pertussis, important to know, and in terms of signs and symptoms, you know what, it's important to know this because this will differentiate whether you're thinking of pneumonia or acute bronchitis. And again, what differentiates acute bronchitis from chronic bronchitis is going to be the cough. Not the cough itself, but the duration of the cough. For it to be acute bronchitis, it has to be cough for at least five days. You have to have a cough for at least five days, and this cough typically resolves within three weeks. That's essential for acute bronchitis. If the cough lasts for two months, that is technically considered as chronic bronchitis. And now what's gonna differentiate between acute bronchitis and pneumonia is going to be fever. So because this is a viral disease, it's gonna be a low grade fever or maybe no fever. As opposed to pneumonia, you can have high fevers. So that's the greatest distinction uh, for pneumonia versus acute bronchitis in terms of signs and symptoms. And in terms of your physical exam, you can hear a ronchi or wheezing. They both can be possible. So wheezing you can also hear uh, in pneumonia also. So that's also something to be uh, careful of. And in terms of diagnosing, you know, this is going to be a clinical diagnosis. Just like with influenza, acute bronchitis will be a clinical diagnosis. So if you have a patient who complains of upper respiratory infections, uh, now having cough for five days or more, uh, you know, with low-grade fever and you hear wheezing or ronchi on your physical exam, you know, start putting acute bronchitis on your differentials, especially in this time of the year, fall and winter, when, uh, you know, these viruses like influenza A, influenza B, uh, coronavirus, rhinoviruses are very prevalent. So the important thing here is going to be the distinction between acute bronchitis and pneumonia. Um, and the reasons, the indications for getting any imaging uh, for these patients would be number one, if they have fevers. If they have high fevers, your suspicion for pneumonia should be high. So in this case, you would get a uh, chest x-ray. If they're old, so people over 65, uh, you know, they usually don't have fevers at that point. Um, so if they have a, a productive cough and you're suspicious of a pneumonia, get an x-ray, a chest x-ray. If they have any comorbidities to uh, any pulmonary comorbidities, diabetes, CHF, these are another, these are other reasons to get uh, a chest x-ray. And some non-specific signs like tachycardia, high respiration rates, um, also clue you more towards pneumonia and thus um, you getting chest x-ray at that point. In terms of treatment, like we said, you know, this is a viral disease. You do not have to treat these patients in terms of antibiotics. Many times, and you've seen this in clinical practice, and I've done this in clinical practice, is 
we see acute bronchitis, you know, you might hear wrong high on the lung fields and you want to prescribe a Z pack. But like we said, you know, acute bronchitis is most likely viral. Antibiotics are not going to do anything. Um, so the treatment here is supportive care. Typically what I do is, you know, because cough is the main complaint, uh, I try to, to treat the cough itself. So um, any cough suppressant like promethazine DM is my go-to. Um, Over-the-counter medications like Mucinex, any, anything with dextromethorphan uh, should do. And if they're having fevers, low-grade fevers, I hope, uh, you can give them Tylenol. If high-grade fevers, send them for a chest x-ray. You want to rule out pneumonia. The only caveat here is, you know, you want to give antibiotics to patients who have pertussis. So one of the atypical organisms for acute bronchitis is going to be Bordetella pertussis. If they do have Bordetella pertussis or, you sus or you're suspecting Bordetella pertussis, please give these patients antibiotics. And that's acute bronchitis. So tune in next week for more. Uh, make sure you subscribe and comment below and like this video, guys. All right, take care. We'll see you next week.